Hey, welcome back. I'm going to be doing another haul for you from some items that I purchased from Mitsua. They're both skincare, food, and um, health. Not health, I'm sorry. Beauty skincare. There's actually a lip gloss that I really like, and I don't have it in front of me, but it's um, a peach flavor lip cream from sauna i think the name of the company is and it's really it smells like peaches it doesn't taste like peaches but it has a really nice moisturizing agent to it that i particularly like and i think i'm going to pause this video so i can go get it and show it to you be back in a second okay so it's basically a lip balm from Sada, I want to think it's the company. Um, I wish I can read Japanese. Um, but it looks like this is really pretty with these pink flowers. And it looks like this, like it's a um, almost like a lip balm. It's a lip balm container, but it looks like a lipstick. And you just screw it up. And it comes down. I really like it. It has this nice peachy, um, slightly taste, but definitely the scent is really peach, true peach scent, which I really love. Peaches. Um, so that's from Mitsua. Um, let's start with the hair care. Um, there's three things that I'm going to show you that I've tried um, maybe two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, and it's called Rose of Heaven. Shampoo from Kose. Kose is the company from uh, Kose, if I'm pronouncing that well. Um, it smells like a true rose. How I like it in my hair. I think it's okay. The scent is wonderful, but in terms of moisturizing or helping with that, um, I can't say that it really helps. Um, but that rose scent is just true to a a rose scent. It's really fragrant. It's really nice. Even the the um the packaging of this is really pretty. And this is the writing on the back of it. And the reason why I purchased this, I wanted to try it primarily for the scent because I love rose scent. And um, I was reading re reading the ingredients and the fact that it has peppermint oil in it. And some other things, but the peppermint stuck out to me the most. It does have sodium lauryl sulfate. So, um, for those who don't like sodium lower sulfate, you may not want to purchase this. Um, and it had honey, which I'm very attracted to in any um, skin care. Not skin care, I'm sorry. Skin care, yes, but primarily health care. Anything with honey, my hair really likes honey. So, I'm going to be willing to try it. And it also has protein. And I'm not sure if the protein was the reason why it wasn't completely going through my hair very well. I think it cleanses it well, but then it was just something like, eh, not completely enjoying it. Um, the conditioner um, has organic botanical and rose honey. Um, again, it has protein, so maybe a double amounts of protein for both shampoo and conditioner. Wasn't too thrilling to my hair. It basically has same ingredients. For the conditioner and the shampoo um, but it smells so good and it sent it up the whole bathroom when I was using it and then there would be days it'll be in the middle of the week and my hair would still smell like rose so it has a very high um, fragrance to it and I just showed you the shampoo and the conditioner and now I'm going to show you the, the hair treatment which looks like this this I actually like, I think. I only tried it once, so I'm just giving you first impression. Even though this is a haul, I shouldn't be probably reviewing it in a haul. 
but I really like it. I think it's really nice. So I'm going to keep using it and see how it works. Um, so I've been to Mitsua twice. That's from one of my first haul from Mitsua. Um, and I think the other thing that I just bought were like candies. So I ate those up, which I really love. And I'm going to show you my second trip to Mitsua, the candies that I bought. And some things are new. So my second trip miss to Mitsua, well, go back to the first. Um, I actually purchased also another shampoo and conditioner uh, from Shiseido, I think if I'm pronouncing that right. So this is the shampoo and conditioner. Um, smells really good. It has this nice clean scent to it. Again, I have not used it. To try it yet but I heard good things about the Shiseido um, company and uh, it also has protein in it sodium lower sulfate and some other ingredients that I'm gonna have to do some research to see what it is cocoa betaine is in it which actually is a good ingredient um, so I don't know how this is going to work on my hair to be honest, um, but it's worth trying because I want to see if there are any Japanese um, health care, basic beauty and skin care products that would work on my, um, my hair texture. So that's one. On my second trip, I bought the Essential Rich Premier. Um, Shampoo and conditioner. Anytime I buy shampoo and conditioner, I always get the matching one that goes with it. That's just me. I don't know. But um, it's for a damaged care. And it has honey and shea butter. Um, like the one, two, three. It's about the eighth or ninth ingredient. Um, it has sunflower oil. And some other... Um, I'm sure probably some other preservatives that's in here. It has rose canner fruit extract, um, sodium lower sulfate, which is really towards the bottom of the list, which is interesting for the shampoo. And likewise, similar ingredients for the hair conditioner. I don't know how my hair liked this because when I used it last week, last Sunday actually, um, when I undid my twist Monday morning, my hair was like afro, like shrinkage afro. I have no problem with afro shrinkage, but I wasn't really feeling it. Because usually I wear a twist so my hair can look like it's scratched. Um, and if I want to wear shrinkage, I usually do my wash and goes. But it really didn't even look like a twist out. It just really looked like a wash and go. But as I kept twisting my hair throughout the week, my hair started to um, scratch out a little bit more. Um, I don't know, but it had like super moisture. Like my hair was just moist. And with the bed, it was still wet. And I used the My Honey Child Honey Hair Mask. So I'm not sure if there was extra doses of moisture that my hair just could not dry. But, um, yeah, that's. I don't know, that's just my first impression, so I have to keep trying to see whether um, that's something that I could keep putting in my hair care resume or I need to leave it out. So this is a haul, so let me start reviewing things, sorry. Um, the next things I got were like the candies. The Japanese candies are so good. I'm pretty much into a lot of the fruit candies. I bought a chocolate from Mitsua. I can't even think of the name of it right now, but it was so good. But it was too much for how much pieces was in it. So I was... Some of the candies are pretty pricey, so I don't know. But if you're interested, you know, definitely go and try it out. But this um, is a soft milk candy and strawberries. I haven't had these yet, so I can't tell you how I like them. But I love, it's it's a soft candy, but I really love soft candy. Hard candy super, mostly the soft, like fruit type candies. 
So that's one of the candies. Um, the other things I like from Mitsui is the high chews. I go through those bags fast. They're so good. They're like bonkers. So if you look, I don't know if they have bonkers in California, but when I grew up in the kid, grew up as a kid in the South, um, they had bonkers, and I love bonkers. Um, so these remind me of bonkers, but just have their own different taste to it. Um, this is one of their candies that has a great um, taste to it. I really like this. Um, it's by the company Caro, so it's just like a fruit soft candy. Um, this has a center like, you know, it's grape on the outside and it has a, a center in the middle. I don't know if that's milk because there's another one. There's another one that I like that has a milky um, taste to it. The next thing is the fresh peach um, gummy candies. These are so good. They taste just like fresh peaches. They're tangy. I love them. They're good. Yummy. Yes, yes, yes. These are good. So if you're ever shopping in Minnesota, you'll want to try these. Yes, they're good. I was looking for anything that was peach flavor. I just these gums I bought the first time for my trip to Missoula. I don't particularly like these. They they have a good flavor, but then it just dies out quickly. Um, so I won't repurchase those. This is another one that is a um, is meal fruits peach. I love these because this is like a um, like a sweet milk. But with a peach taste to it. It's really, really good. So, yeah. The candies are, like, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, so, I bought actually three packs. And I have the third pack that I'm still trying to eat on. Um, on my dresser. And... This is another pack of gum. I haven't tried that, but I don't really like the gums. Um, and here's some other um, peach gummy candies. I told you I was looking for everything that was peach. So these are the peach gummy candies. I'm hoping they're really good. I haven't tried these yet either. So I love peach candies. Um, Here's another um, lip balm that I bought from Shiseido. Shis I don't know the correct pronunciation for that word. I don't. This lip balm is moisturizing, but I like lip balms that has a taste to it, or at least a smell, something that's gonna like influence my um, senses, as you can say. Um, I don't know. It don't really taste like berries to me. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't really particularly care for it. It's another one of those lip balms that just you know just not doing it for me. Um, I don't know. You may say that I'm really picky, but I am. And I bought some masks from Mitsua that I saw. Um, I was hoping they had like other types of masks that I've seen on some of the um, Asian online stores, but they did and they did not. This is called Suzuku Natural Pulp Essence Face Mask. So it's in the Yuzu flavor. So I'm going to be interested to see how these work out. So I got it in the Yuzu. I got it in the Apple. I got it and grape. So this is the grape mask. So that pretty much is my um, Mitsua hauls. The things that I have purchased. Um, I like the store. You know, everyone there is I think is really nice and helpful. And there was actually a woman there who was trying to um, encourage me to buy this. Um sweet potato candy um, I don't recall the name of it but I looked at it and I was kind of like 
iffy to buy it if it's going to taste like sweet potatoes. But I think this time I'm there, I will buy it to see because she was buying up like three or four bags or whatever bags she saw. She was buying them. Um, so that covers my Mitsuo haul. The candies are definitely worth trying if you're a candy person. Um, again, the products, I can't really say how I like them. Oh, and let me show you the DH Makeoff sheets that I was talking about in my August favorite haul. It looks like this. So a cute container. I actually like this because it's in a box. And you just pull the sheets versus just pulling the sheets from the plastic that um, the sheets are in. Um, it has castor oil as an ingredient in it. Willow bar ash scratch, citric acid aloe vera juice, ginseng root, uh, matracaria, flower ash grass. So I really like a lot of natural ingredients. I really like this um, make-off sheets. And this is the inside of it. It's really cute, simple. Yeah, definitely one of my favorites. And you can get this from Mitsua as well. Um, and I guess I'll just add my other favorites onto this um, haul because from the last video my August favorites I left out some things that I was really enjoying and to show you the container of the Ray's Essential Hair and Body Moisturizing Cream and um, this is in the birthday, birthday cake set um, amazing amazing cream I haven't tried it as my body I just mainly been using it as my hair and it's again what I use to twist out my hair. Um, love it. The shoes that I sandals actually I've been wearing are from Steve Madden. I apologize they look a little bit dirty to you, but it's really cute. I actually purchased these from Marshalls. So yeah, this is what the um shoe looks like. Favorite. The next um, shoe is um, this sandal, which is um, Steve Madden sandals that I got from Nordstrom Rack. So, again, nice sandals that I wear. So, that covers my haul. So, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below, and I respond back. Take care. Bye.